Are your bonds tired of being weak with a low melting and boiling point? Yes. Do you hate having to check if your electronegativity difference is less than 0.4, which means an equal sharing of electrons, nonpolar, as opposed to being greater than 0.4, which means an unequal sharing of electrons, polar? Yes. Do you want them to be a conductor and not brittle? I wish. Are you bored of only bonding with non-metals? Yes. Then you should try an ionic bond. What's the difference? Unlike your covalent bonds, ionic bonds have high melting and boiling points, are water soluble and crystalline, aqueous solutions conduct electricity, and they're generally the strongest bond type. What do I need? Well, since you are a non-metal, you either need a friend that's a metal or a friend that's a polyatomic ion, and an electrolytic negativity difference that is greater than 1.7. How does it work? It's all about the attraction between electrons. Collins' law states the well-known fact that opposite charges attract. In the equation, E is the lattice energy, K is a constant, the Q's are the charges, and the R is the distance between the two objects. The larger the ion charges, the stronger the bond. The smaller the ion size, the greater the strength. Can I be metallic? Metallic bonds are good conductors, malleable, ductile, and share electrons between all atoms. But you're ineligible to take part in this free throw of electrons because it only occurs between two metals. I'll take ionic then. You'll be as famous as salt, magnesium oxide, and much more. Call now to take part in this transfer of electrons. Get your ionic bond now.